Well, you guys, they uh, do not understand transportation in the United States of America. I'm making you this video about transportation in the United States of America. So now, I am right here at uh, one of the centers. They study actually, uh, you know, transportations and uh, communications and all kind of subjects. And this is the student center and the post office of the Arizona State University. And if you see there is trains and automobiles and buses of all type coming around, like every so often, every so many minutes. And they are building new stations. And they have uh, emergency uh, uh, centers where you can call for help if you like overheater or whatever and it has uh it has rules it has rules and it has assigned lanes to it assigned lanes like for example in this in this uh, intersection, you have a train station right up there, and you have an assigned lane for the rail and an assigned lane for automobiles. And that building is a brand new building, and those are uh, apartments, apartment buildings, you know, built around the, the uh, the university and all this is integrated integrated in a transportation system that they have developed so unless you live in the middle of nowhere like in the middle of the desert where is, there is no service no uh, public service you can move around any city in the United States of America via public transportation. Now, I can say this, it's going to be crowded, it's going to be uh, uh, slow, it's going to be uh, sometimes even uncomfortable waiting for the bus to arrive or the train to arrive because the, uh, uh, the temperatures involved and, uh, and so on. But uh, the, uh, the system is operational and the system is working and the system will allow you to move anywhere within the, uh, the, the city and within the limitation of the public transportation. Now, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the public transportation is, uh, is reliable and it is a necessity in any modern city any modern human city but you found you can find public transportation anywhere in the world of course the europeans are the the best at it the europeans are, are they are having public transportation since, since the uh, end of world war ii and prior to that but now uh they have the uh, faster faster train in between provinces and they have the fastest uh, and more sophisticated machinery on the planet and most of the, most of these uh, are built by the uh, by the Japanese and the uh, and the Chinese so people are moving today in any major city in the United States via public transportation at good prices, at good rates. But I, I would like to talk more about transportation because there is you no know, yes about moving, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, moving humans, but also move, moving food, moving food stuff, moving clothes, 
closing, uh, uh, moving uh, building materials, moving everything, the human needs. And that, that falls into the job of uh, heavy, uh, heavy transportation. You're talking about uh, semi trucks, you're talking about uh, uh, rail, uh, freight trains, and so on. Uh, and then uh, we're talking about also fast moving cargo, uh, you know, uh, just in time in cargo. And that would be uh, the aviation industry. And in my opinion, the most important, uh, how can I say, uh, the most important secretary in the United States of America is the secretary of transportation. <laughs> People don't realize how important is transportation is. Without transportation, humanity as it is does not exist. So you guys get out, get out, get out into the streets, get out into into the cities, and you can have a nice locomotion over the city in public transportation. So fear not. Fear not, move around the United States of America, move around the world, and you will see the, uh, you can call it a, a cab, a taxi cab, or you can move, move into a train seat, or you can move into a bus seat, or into uh, a rail car seat, or an airplane seat, anywhere in the planet. Because we are humans and we need to move, and we are moving around the planet. So if somebody tells you that having an automobile is a necessity, you can tell them, really, prove it to me. <laughs> and just go to, to Google and Google, how can I go from A to B? And Google will tell you which train or bus to catch and at what time will arrive. Keeping the trains on time is important today and tomorrow. And never forget about ships on the ocean. They are the transportation who, who began the really heavy lifting of humanity is the sea. So we're utilizing the air, the sea, and surface of the earth. Saludos.